Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks or Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is determine if two trees are identical and it is going to be an easy level problem. So this problem is again a very good example of why you should not overthink about recursion. Similar to one of the problem of the days we encountered recently and I uh, will tell you how you can solve this problem with recursion without even thinking too much about recursion. So like I believe this is the most beautiful part about recursion that uh, you don't actually need to think about the whole steps right. So the most important mistakes that students make while thinking about recursion is thinking about the whole process. But instead you should just focus on the current case or the current state and the base case. So this is how we, are try, we will try to solve this particular problem and let us just read the problem statement. It says that we have been given two binary trees and our task is to find if both of them are identical or not right and we just have to return true or false or a boolean value right. So how do we check whether two trees are identical? Identical means they should have the same pattern, the tree style should be the same and the values should be the same as well. So how do I actually check it? Let us say that I know for some reason I know that the current node are similar right. So how do I make sure that the rest of the tree is also same? What I can just do is I can check if the left subtree is the same in both of them as well as the right subtree is the same in both of them right. So this is going to be the left subtree and the right subtree similarly the left and the right subtree for the second tree right. So if the left subtrees of both of them is same that is L1 and L2 are same right as well as R1 and R2 are also same. Right, and the node itself, the node itself was same as well. Right, so we discussed this that the node is same. So if these three conditions are satisfied for the current state, I can say that my uh, trees are identical. Now, I don't have to worry about these left and the right subtree respectively. Right, I don't have to think about them, but I can certainly test whether the current node is same or not. Right, so what? How can we test n1 data? The data present in n1 should be equal to n2 data, right? And there might be one more case when one of them is null pointer. If n1 is equal to null pointer, so n2 should also be null pointer, right? So what I am saying is, if one of them is null pointer, the other should also be null pointer, right? It cannot be like it cannot be the case where one of them is null pointer. Now. If both of them are null pointer, we do not have to check the data. If one of them is null pointer, we like uh, the trees are not identical at all. If both of them are not null pointers, then we can compare their data, right. And with these three steps, we can know that the current node are same. Now how do I actually find out the left and the right subtree? So I do not have to worry about them. I can just call or recursively call my same function again on the left subtree as well as the right, right subtree. Now, it is going to check automatically how they are identical and how they are not, but I do not have to worry about them as subtrees. I do not have to think like ki, I have to check the left subtree, so I do not need to do something about it. No, it is not, it does not work like that. We are just going to call our recursive function again that is going to check our left as well as the right subtree, right. So, this is how you could think about this problem and talking about the base case, you did not have to explicitly set the base case here. The reason be while we are checking the node, we are including this condition of null pointer. So in a binary tree or in any kind of tree, what can be the base case when we have run out of nodes, right? And that will be the case when we encounter a null pointer, right? So we have already covered them while checking whether two nodes are identical or not, right? So how are we going to solve this problem? First of all, we knew that if current node is same for trees to be identical, we had three conditions. Right, current node is same, node is same, and left subtree is same, and right subtree is same. Now I say that I can check the current node, so I check current node, and I do not check the left and the right subtrees respectively. Like specifically, I don't check for them, but I just recursively call, recursively call my uh, function for for left and right subtree right subtree right so this is how i can easily solve this particular problem now this second step right here 
is the most important part or i would say the beauty of recursion that you don't have to check for those nodes or for those subtrees you can just call your function again and you can just trust your function that it will do everything for you right so now let us just have a look at the code the code is very very simple for this particular problem let me show you how i have done it so first of all i have this is same function that is going to check whether two nodes are identical or not right so what i do whenever i whenever this function is called is identical i have been passed the roots of both of those nodes both of those trees now i just check i have saved in my okay variable that whether these two nodes are equal or not we'll discuss how this is same works but let us see what happens after it right so if both of them is save same my okay will be true right now if r1 so r1 if it is null pointer that means i cannot go to the left and the right child respectively right so i have to check it should be not null pointer because if i try to access the left of a null pointer it is give, going to give me errors right so i check whether the current node is not null pointer if it is not null pointer then i'm going to set my okay as okay and i call the same is identical function on the left subtree so you see i have called r1 left as well as r2 left right and is identical on the right subtree calling as r1 right and r2 right so if all of these three conditions are satisfied together you see this okay the first okay was for the current node this is for the left subtree and this is for the right subtree if all of these three conditions are together satisfied that means my whole tree is identical so i am just going to return okay after it now how do i check whether two nodes that i have are same or not so first of all i will check if one of them is null pointer how am i checking it so r1 is equals to null pointer is going to give, give true or false depending on whether r1 is null pointer or not right similarly it is going to give the same thing i have put an xor between them so this whole condition will be true when exactly one of them is true right so in case one of them is null pointer and the other one is not it is going to be true and i'm going to return zero from here otherwise if both of them are null pointer or both of them are not null pointer that means i will come to this particular case so i'll see that if r1 is equal to null pointer if this condition is true that means the second one is also going to be null pointer that is when uh, this condition will evaluate to true and the whole condition will be true otherwise i'll have, i'll compare both of the data so you see i have put a or condition in between if one of them is null pointer that means here both of them will be null pointer and i return true otherwise i'm going to check and compare their data so if either of these statements is true i'm going to return true right so this is how i can check whether two nodes are identical or not and this condition will help me to evaluate the further subtree so you see even write even without writing down explicitly for everything my is identical function is going to do everything for me right so this is how you could solve this problem and uh, i hope that you guys were able to understand the solution i always try to explain these recursive problems in a manner such that it is easier for you to understand uh, without thinking about every case explicitly right so i hope that uh, this video was helpful for you and it added some value to your recursive knowledge so that is it for today i hope that you guys were able to enjoy the video and uh, do don't forget to share your thoughts and drop a like in this video because your engagement with this video really really helps the youtube algorithm to understand that this video was actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems so that is it for today i hope uh, 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 i hope that this video was helpful for you and uh, till the next video drops keep coding stay safe bye bye